Hi, this is Sean with Tri-State Waterworks, your prompt and proven lawn sprinkler repair company. I'd like to talk to you about rain sensors. These nifty little devices are really a necessity for your lawn sprinkler. If you don't have one, you really need to think about getting it. What it is going to do is if we have a rainstorm, it's going to turn off your sprinkler system. Just yesterday I was driving through a neighborhood, afternoon, it was raining, and three sprinkler systems were running. You can get a bad rap from your neighbors if you're wasting water like that. Rain sensors are very ingenious little devices, very simple. So the, when it rains, the rain gets collected in the top here, goes down inside the rain sensor, and inside the rain sensor are little, they look like leather, little disc, as you can see right here, and as those start absorbing water, they swell up. And as they swell up, they push down on a micro switch, and the micro switch shuts off your lawn sprinkler system. So it doesn't affect the programming or the time or anything else. It just interrupts the sprinkler system and conserves water. A couple things you need to do with them. You can adjust at what level of rain you shut down. So you could have it shut off with an inch of rain, which would be pretty much too high. We typically recommend you set them up at an eighth of an inch. So when you, after you get an eighth of an inch of rain, it would shut off your system. So that's just adjusted by twisting the, the cap on the rain sensor. The other adjustment you need to make is there's a little vent here on the side, and that vent allows air in and allows the disc to dry out. So the quicker they dry out, the sooner your sprinkler system will come back on. So there's two versions of the rain sensor. You can have the wired rain sensor, which has long wire on it. Uh, a little more difficult to set up because you have to run this wire from your gutter where you hang the rain sensor back down into your clock. And this doesn't have to be hung on the gutter, but it does have to be out where it's not obstructed from anything so that rain can fall on it. This is a wireless one, and it sends its uh, signal back electronically. One of the benefits of the wireless one, all the adjustments that I was showing you on the wired version, the setting for how much rain before you shut it off and how quickly it dries out, that can all be done e through an interface at the controller. So you don't have to worry about pulling out a ladder to jump up on side of your house to get to your rain sensor. So it's very convenient to have the wireless one. I guess the downside of the wireless one is you do have to replace the batteries once every couple years as they go dead. But either way, they're both going to save you a lot of water and the return on investment is really, the turnaround is rather quick. Usually one year will pay for this investment in water savings. So you buy this, put it on your sprinkler system this year, and within a year it's paid for itself and then going forward you're going to be recouping that money or saving that money on an annual basis. So the lifespan of one of these, before you have to replace it, it's simply going to be anywhere from five to eight years. I've seen some go as long as ten, but they do have quite a, a long lifespan. So I would recommend highly getting one of these. It's one of the best things you can do to conserve water. And just give us a call. We can come out and set it up and take care of it for you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for using Tri-State Waterworks.